Okay guys, just wanted to make a quick video, uh, some quick tips to show you how to use autopilot properly, but more importantly, how to use it so you don't get nags. It's gonna first start with setting expectations that autopilot is a semi-autonomous driver's assistance feature, not a full autonomous feature. Uh, and so what people wanna do instinctively is they wanna activate it, and they think that they can just do this and just put their hands in their laps and relax. Uh, and what's gonna happen is, that's not the case because Tesla's uh, autopilot wants to get that feedback. It wants to get some type of feedback from the driver to let them know that's there. So since there's no cameras, it relies on feedback from the steering wheel uh, and that comes in the form of resistance. So if I was to just cruise like this, it's gonna give me the warning symbol soon. It's gonna tell me to grab the wheel and it will continue to tell me to grab the wheel for prolonged periods of time when I don't have my hands on the wheel, okay? And so what we want to do is you want to basically put your hands on the wheel, but not in a way that doesn't make sense. If I was to just put my hands on the wheel like this, I have my hands on the wheel so readily available to steer, I might as well steer myself. So this becomes pretty much useless as far as the driver's assistance feature is concerned and making you be able to relax more. Sure, I don't have to control the accelerator and the brake, but if I have to have my hands on the wheel, I'm more conscious of where the car is steering and I feel like I want to steer the car myself. So this, this doesn't seem an intuitive way to deal with autopilot. Uh, and you're also gonna be fighting the wheel and your hands could potentially get tired or your arms can get potentially tired just by holding this position without it actually doing the work of driving the car. So with that said, if you were to do this, the car may not be getting the feedback it needs just with your two hands and it still may nag you and say, hey, please hold the wheel. And so this isn't good. This is not comfortable for people to drive. So what I find is that the best way to deal with autopilot is to just rest your hand, like a dead hand, just like this. A dead hand on the wheel, just enough to provide a feedback. My hand is still relaxed. I'm enjoying myself. I have a hands free so I can take, take a drink, take a sip of juice or water or whatever the case may be. Um, I can also move some things around with my right hand, you know, as I relax. But more importantly, if you do this, you won't get the nag. This is applying enough pressure to the wheel to get feedback, and you will never get the nag unless there are no lines visible on the road. If there are no lines on the road at all, you're definitely going to get the nag. If it's a very sharp turn or the line goes away very quickly, you might also get the nag. But under normal circumstances, just driving down the highway with clearly visible marked lanes, if you rest your hand like this, using right hand or left hand, whichever hand is applicable for you, uh, you won't get the nag. So this is a quick way to understand how to drive miles, tens, hundreds of miles on autopilot in the most relaxed fashion, but also the safest way. So now you can quickly react if you need to override the situation and control the steering wheel. You can very quickly do that with the with the pull of the steering wheel in either direction. But this is a very quick tip just to let you guys know if you're using autopilot, you're new to autopilot, you don't know how it works, it doesn't feel comfortable with you driving like this, or if you expect it to just do this, and not give you any problems or feedback in terms of telling you to hold the wheel, then you're incorrect. The best way to do it is just to rest the hand on it and now you can relax, enjoy the ride as the car drives you to your destination on the highway uh, and be prepared to take over for the exit or for any construction scenarios like this that are coming up here. There's a construction zone. I'm gonna go ahead and disengage autopilot.